I always enjoy bringing you plugins that are going to increase the quality of life of the players on your server that have access to these plugins. Well, today is no different. Today we're talking about skins and maybe how some of the existing plugins out there might be a little bit annoying. The plugin that I'm talking about today takes all of those annoyances out of the equation, greatly increases the quality of life and the usability of the plugin. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you the different things that you can do on your servers to make life just a little bit better for your players. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. All right, so today we're talking about a plugin called Skinner. It's available from loan.design. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. It's written by Whispers88. And as you can see on my screen right now, it is definitely considered a premium plugin. So at the time of the recording of this video, which may not last forever, but at this time, it's already discounted. However, Whispers has offered me a discount code just for my viewers that is going to earn you an extra 15% off of whatever price it happens to be when you're watching this video. So like I said, right now it's already at 22% off. My promo code gets you another 15% off on top of that. The discounts can be stacked together. So huge win for all of us. But what does this plugin do and why should you pay for it? I'm going to tell you all about it. The biggest benefit, in my opinion, is that you can use this plugin to reskin an item that's already been placed. So let's say you happen to place a garage door and you forgot to throw one of your favorite skins on there. Now you don't have to pick it up before you place a skin on it. You can skin it right where it is already installed. The second cool feature of this plugin is you can pre-define which skins you're going to craft with, similar to how the built-in vanilla system is, but it allows you access, same as it would in skins or skin box, it gives you access to skins that you may not already have in your personal library. And then of course, the third feature of this plugin is it has an actual skin box, similar to what you're probably used to seeing in the world right now, where you can just click and drag an item from your inventory, throw it into the skin box, put a different skin on it, pull it back into your inventory, and it has that skin. So download Skinner from loan.design, drop it into your plugins folder, and after we deal with a couple of permissions real quick, you're all set to use Skinner. So let's get started. One thing that you might notice when you install Skinner is if you have previously used skins or skin box, you're going to notice your console is going to say that it's replaced a command previously registered by another plugin and now is registered by Skinner. But that's only applicable if you have a previous skinning plugin in your server. You don't necessarily have to remove it prior to installing Skinner, but I would definitely suggest it. All right, so let's pull up our admin menu real quick here and let's deal with some permissions real quick. And we're going to do this in the admin group. Group. We're going to scroll over till we find Skinner and there we go. So we've got four different permissions that we need to deal with. The Skinner.default is the permission that allows you to open up a skin box similar to what you've been used to in the past. Skinner.items allows the player that has this permission granted to them the ability to reskin an item that's already been placed in the world. And then Skinner.craft obviously allows you to select which skins you want to use anytime you're crafting an item. Skinner.bypassauth makes it so that whoever has this permission granted to them, they don't necessarily have to be authorized on the TC in order to utilize Skinner. So you would really only want to grant this permission to your admins or moderators on your server. Otherwise, you'll have people going around reskinning items to things that other players don't necessarily want on their bases. So just for testing purposes today, I'm going to do Skinner.craft, Skinner.default and Skinner.items and we're good to go there. And let's make this daytime. All right, so let's go through the three main features of this plugin real quick. So obviously, if we do slash skin, remember I said if you had a skin plugin before, skin Skinner is now going to replace that command. You can also change what these commands are in the config for Skinner. But for right now, slash skin is all we need to do. And once we have that, of course, we can drop an item into that box and we can pick a new skin for it and simply drag it back into our inventory and it will have that skin. Future bull here breaking in during editing process. I completely skipped right over the configuration file for this plugin. So I'm going to break in right now and actually go over this real quick. It's only going to take a second, but it is important information for you guys to know. So just a second ago, I was just talking about the different commands and how the plugin re-registers commands if you had a previously installed skins plugin. You can predefine what the those commands are simply by editing it in the configuration file. So as you can see here by default, we can do slash skin or we can do slash S to get access to the skin box that we're used to seeing. We can do slash skin item or slash SI to skin an item, which you're going to see me do here in a minute, or we can do slash skin craft or slash SC to predefine what skins we want to use as we're crafting new items. But probably the most important part of this configuration file that I'm actually mad at myself that I skipped right over is that we can actually blacklist skins. So we can make it so that skins cannot be used with this plugin. And of course, along with that, we can bring skins in that aren't naturally populated by Skinner. All right, let's get on with the rest of the video. If we do skin craft, this is going to allow us 
us to predefine a skin when we're crafting new items. So as you can see there, it opens up a skin box or a large storage with a bunch of different items in there. And you can pick which item that you want to define the skin for. For demonstration purposes, let's do the sleeping bag and let's just pick, I don't care, we'll just pick that one right there. So as you can see, I did a click and drag on the sleeping bag, brought that into my inventory. It then selected that as the category and then brought up the different skins that are available for the sleeping bags. I'll do the same thing for the fridge. So grab the default fridge, slide it into my inventory, and it brings up the different options that we have available for the fridge. Drag the fridge back into my inventory, and now it shows that this is my default skin selection for the sleeping bag and the fridge. And of course, I just realized that you guys can't actually see that I did put a skin on that fridge. It's like right there behind that graphic right there. Anyways, you'll see what I mean in just a minute, but you can, however, see the sleeping bag right there. So you're going to get the idea. So now when I go into my crafting menu and I go into items, if I go to sleeping bag, okay, so now this is important and this is something that I had to learn the hard way. So for example, if I clicked this undead bedroll and crafted it, it's going to craft that bedroll with that skin on it. However, if I click on the default skin for the sleeping bag and craft that, it's going to craft the skinned item that I selected from Skinner. So you still have the ability to use any of the skins that you've previously purchased, but anything that you've defined using slash skin craft will only appear when you use the default skin. Now, I also did the fridge. I have the dairy gold fridge, but I'm gonna use the default one and it should show up as a something pink. Oh yeah, that's what it was right there. So even though I'm selecting the default skin and clicking craft, it's putting the skinned item that I selected from Skinner. So it has that built-in vanilla feel where it kind of feels like you're utilizing skins that you've actually purchased, but it opens up your library to anything that's been approved from the workshop. Kind of a cool feature. I like it. Now, the coolest feature, the, the best feature of this plugin is that we can actually reskin items after they've been placed. So instead of having to pick that item up, put it into your skin box, skin it, and then replace it, of course, having taken damage in that process, we can now just skin it where it sits. So for example, I'm going to go up to this fridge right here that we We've already placed. Oh, this is the ice cream thing. When it was in my inventory. I thought that was an H. That's special. All right, so let's do slash skin item. And it brings up our skin box, same as before, but now we can select whichever skin we want to use for this fridge. So let's use this guy right here, drag it into the inventory. And as you can see behind it, it automatically switched that skin. And we can do this to whatever items in game will take a new skin. So I'm sitting here reskinning this door and it's not, I don't have to take damage each time I do it. And it just, I can redecorate my entire base. Let's say I want to reskin this box right here. Same thing, slash skin item, drag that into my inventory and as you can see it changed that skin to the component skin wicked good quality of life feature i really like this plugin i think whispers has done a bang up job on it and like i said before there's a lot of server owners out there already that are used to skins or skin box and because there's technically three different commands that your players may not know about you'll definitely want to figure out a way to express that information to your new players of course i suggest using server info but there's a couple of different methods out there that you can express this information across so that they know how to use the different features of skinner so if you decide that you want to add skinner to your server make sure you use promo code srt bull at checkout in order to save another 15 percent off of whatever price it happens to be at the time when you see this video all right that's it for skinner i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to leave me a great big thumbs up and of course if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel this will be my last video obviously for the year 2021 because when you're watching this video it's new year's eve i hope you guys have a very safe new year's eve i expect to see all of you back here fresh for 2022 thanks for watching i'll see you all next week